Hey guys, Andrew Marsh here with Drew Fit. I want to thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk about certain health claims that I used to believe were going to empower my health, but after doing further research and more practice, um, I've come to find that maybe these health claims are actually fake. So I want to bring a few of these topics to the surface, maybe empower you to do more research and figure out if it's something that maybe you want to eliminate in the future as well. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is polyunsaturated fatty acids. Now there's really two sources that we can be talking about. The popular one in the health community is nuts and seeds, um, which I do believe serve a purpose, maybe in a famished state as they are longer chain fatty acids, but I'm not going to get into that. The PUFAs that I'm talking about today are the ones that are being used in a lot of our foods, a lot of People are cooking in these oils, uh, vegetable oils, things like canola oil, uh, sunflower oil, safflower. Um, the list goes on and on. There's a ton of them out there. But what I'm coming to find, not only do they increase free radical damage, which is definitely bad uh, for your cells, but one thing that I have noticed um, in the health community is that sugar is always so heavily demonized. But when you really look into it, Maybe it's not so much the sugar as it is the other ingredients that are combined with the sugar. A lot of the times it's paired with polyunsaturated fatty acids. Now what PUFA does is that it actually inhibits the utilization of glucose. So what this means, when it's released into the bloodstream, that your body is not able to metabolize and use the glucose as it should. And what we're seeing a lot of the times is a lot of these studies claim that diabetes or cancer or heart disease, and all of these things are heavily correlated with lots of uh, sugar consumption, but is it really sugar, or could it be what's combined with the sugar? So that's one thing to look at. Um, another I want to bring to surface is omega-3 fish oil and DHA. Now these things act the same, essentially, as polyunsaturated fatty acids, increases lipid peroxidation in the body, um, and it blocks the ability of normal cellular metabolism. So what these two basically do, PUFAs um, and certain omega-3s, especially in fish oils, um, is that when they're released in the bloodstream when you're under stress, it actually suppresses the metabolism, which is not a good thing because, like I said, your body's not able to utilize the glucose as it should. Now, when it came to these two topics, I was completely fascinated uh, researching Ray Pete's work on the topic. Um, and I was always under the impression that sugar was always the bad guy in all of these diseases and everything. But maybe it's not the sugar. Maybe it's because your body is not utilizing them appropriately due to some other component that you're consuming. And um, it's starting to look like PUFA or certain omega-3s, uh, fish oils, and DHA may be the reason for that. Now, the next thing I found pretty fascinating was serotonin and its correlation with it being a good hormone when having it in elevated levels. I was always under the impression that if you're dealing with things like ADD, anxiety, or depression, that it was because you had stomach issues, that your stomach wasn't producing enough um, serotonin because serotonin is created in the gut, about 80 to 90 percent of it, and that it was all correlated with having low serotonin levels as to why you're having poor mental function, which actually may not be true. And when I'm looking at Dr. Ray Pete's work, I'm constantly finding that people that have high endotoxins in their stomach or elevated levels of cortisol, higher levels of stress, that it actually increases serotonin as well. And it's actually been said to actually be a stress hormone. And one thing I want to note here, and this was from Dr. Ray Pete's work, he talks about when there's a loss of CO2, that it actually increases inf inflammation when it's under stress because it releases serotonin into the bloodstream. So very interesting thing to look at because I was always un under the impression that you want high serotonin levels um, to have healthy stress levels, lower your stress levels, but actually it may be the exact opposite. For, so another thing for you to look at um, I found pretty interesting. Now the last thing I want to talk about in regards to certain health claims, a popular one today is that sugar or glucose or fructose or having elevated levels of any kind of sugar is a very bad thing and it's not a primary fuel source for the body. I'm not gonna to try to convince you with it. I'm gonna leave you with a couple things um, that I've noticed in research that I've done lately um, through Dr. Ray Pete's work. Um, he talks about when under stress, glucose is the immediate source of energy 
for activating the thyroid appropriately. So pretty important because we all want healthy thyroid function, especially if you're trying to achieve optimal health. Um, and also, in absence of glucose, the body will start to catabolize itself to get its glucose level. So whether that's eating at your muscles, at your organs, at your skin, your body is very intelligent and will find ways to get its glucose. Now, a lot of people will tell you you can get your glucose from eating lots of protein on the carnivore diet. I just don't think that's the most optimal way to go about it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. These are some topics I found very interesting over the last couple of months of doing research. Some of the claims that I was led to believe and I blindly followed for years actually may not be the best thing for my health or for your health, but simply I want to empower you guys to do research, do your due diligence, and make the best choice for your health moving forward. Look at the good, look at the bad of everything that you're studying. Notice that a lot of these things that are marketed to us as good or bad, maybe they do serve a purpose very short term, um, but again, you have to make a conscious and aware decision on what you're getting into, gauge yourself on how you're feeling, and make the best choice going from there. So, so again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to Follow me on Instagram, DrewFit, D-R-U-E underscore F-I-T. I have a lot of great content coming out. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.